What's going on? You've seen it. You're curious. You might already own it. What do I think about it? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to Drams for Dummies. I am the numero uno dummy, Brett, and I appreciate you for being here. You've seen it, I'm sure, at this point, the new hotness in the cheap bourbon market. It is this Jim Beam seven years. They're black. They had the black extra aged for years, um, and then they took the, the age statement off it, and now they've come back and they've slapped the seven-year age statement on it. And, um, you know, first of all, I'm a huge Jim Beam fan. I, I, I just think they do great stuff. I will say that at this point, if I can get that to kind of reflect and you can kind of see what's happening here, um, I think that some of the, the creativity of what they're putting out, some of the ideas that they have, you know, with the Hardens Creek series and some of their different, you know, obviously we've got, you know, Booker's and Little Book and, you know, they, they've, they were some of the pioneers of pushing some of those, uh, of some of those kind of uh, experimental uh, ideas playing with ages, playing with, um, you know, blends and stuff like that. But what I love is that they're not, they're really refocusing on like the core products and the stuff that's affordable. And I am really kind of latching on to and really getting passionate about this. Don't overpay for, for anything, right? Don't pay over MSRP. And if you've seen my don't overpay for Buffalo Trace or anything else videos, um, they got a few views. They did some good things, and I appreciate that. But I think the reason they got views is that the the it's resonating with people. Hey, I can get cheap, good bourbon, and yeah, absolutely. Or I don't have to overpay to get good bourbon. Yeah, absolutely. And I like what Jim Beam has been doing. They've they've been refocusing on, you know, the the old Overholt series and the old Granddad series. Um, you know, they're putting money and, and resource and, and focus back into um, those affordable and attainable products that are still amazing. That old, that old Overholt 10-year cash drink that just came out is top shelf. That is amazing stuff. And it is, it is 90, but 90 is fairly reasonable for a 10-year age statement product for rye, right? A uh, cast strength rye at, at that. So anyway, I'm not going to get all sidetracked. The point of all that was, look at this label. That's what I was going to say before, right? Like, they've been redesigning their labels and their packaging, and I feel like they're just, they're really sharp and they're effective, and I'm really enjoying the refreshes, and I'm enjoying that they're putting age statements back on all of their products. I think that's amazing, and they're, and they're like... The Knob Creek uh, Single Barrel Reserve, that 120 proof that you can find in all the stores, that's an amazing value. That's such a great bottle. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. The point is, while a lot of us, a lot of folks are out chasing, you know, Masters Keep, you know, uh, Wild Turkey Series or the B Tax or uh, Four Roses Limiteds or just unicorns, and, and, you know, God bless you, go chase what you want. Good stuff from the, the, the legacies are sitting around the shelf and they're priced right. And uh, I think Jim Beam, again, for, for paying attention to their brand, for keeping things fresh, whether what's in the bottle fresh and interesting or um, what's how it's presented fresh and interesting. I think they're kicking butt right now. I think they're kind of winning. I think Jack Daniels is right there too in kind of you know doing what they do but not being stuck in their ways. You know, whereas I think... I think Heaven Hill and Buffalo Trace are just kind of, they're kind of just resting on their laurels a little bit. I mean, they're not doing a lot of innovation. Um, they've got their one-offs. Their, their packaging, their bottles all are get, are, look tired. Point is, this is out there. It's a seven-year age statement. You know, you got Jim Beam White is going to be your bottom Jim Beam. That's going to be your non-age stated, three, four years, whatever. Uh, that's your cheapest stuff. Um this is this is your next one up that's going to be a, a seven year age statement and it is let me remind myself 90 90 proof so a nice proof point so i just want to do a quick quick <laughs> for me i've already rambled five minutes i haven't done anything 
right here's a great place to say I have chapters. If you don't want to hear me yap and you're clicking through my videos because you like what we're doing but you don't necessarily need all my yapping, you can click ahead to the, the nosing chapter and the, the palette chapter and the, the finish and the, and, the, and the breakdown and scores chapter. We can just get right to it. Uh, otherwise, if you like all of this action, hang with me. This won't take long. So let me just give you guys my first impressions. Um, I, this isn't a neck pour. I have had a drink of this. So I do have a first impression in my mind, but it's been at least a week, if not two weeks. And it's been a, it's been a crazy week around here. So in my mind, that's, that's old news. I don't even know. I can't remember. I know if you ask me right now, what did you think of it? I could give you some quick bullet points, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go into this with a, a, a fresh palette uh, and a fresh idea and let and, and let and take you guys with me. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I just keep smelling it. I, I'm kind of stuck. I mean, yeah, the peanuts are there. The baking spice is there. That that uh, that oak is there, but it stays pretty up in the upper levels of the nose. It's not getting super deep. It's not getting super rich. It's got a little bit of um, astringency, a little bit in there, not bad, but it's not like it's a, a super mellow, smooth, rich experience. It still kind of has a brightness that I think you'd expect from the price point, you know? So I'm putting this a little above average. It's not doing anything too crazy for me. It's not tripping all my triggers. Um, but it's good. And the more I kind of, the more I nose it, the more I wake my, my, my nose up, the more it's, it's coming to life, all of us, the drink and me. But I'm going to go 6.5 on the nose. We'll see. Let's see what the, the palette does. First impression... The palate drinks, it drinks smoother and easier and nicer than you than the nose makes you think it's going to, if that makes sense. The nose feels a little spicy, it feels a little tanniny, it feels a little over nutty. So yeah, smooth, easy, um, not doing anything, not doing any tricks, you know, palate wise, not doing anything that makes you go, oh my gosh, that's really shocking or surprising. Really just more easy, smooth. And again, for the price point, feels like a really nice, balanced, easy sipper um, that's got a little more depth than maybe some of the other things in its price point. I didn't talk about this. This is a $25 bottle, right? So, um, but being Jim Beam, being that they're going to put so much of it out there, the odds of you find this on sale on the regular are probably pretty high. So now it's a 22 or a 23 or a 20, whatever, right? So... All right, let me let me get a score on this. Um, I, you know what? I'm gonna be mean. I'm gonna drop the nose to a six. I just feel like it's not. I don't. It's better than average, but it's not really. I don't. I don't think it's. I can't go to good, good to great. I'm in that kind of above average, pretty good range. So that's a six. So if my commenter that that talked about my scores, that's where that would be, right? Average would be a five. Okay, so. Um, the, the nuttiness is in the palate, but it's pretty, it's, it's, it's covered up by sort of a little bit of a chocolate quality. I would say that the palate is just very fine. It's very, um, it's not offensive. It's not, it's not. It's not astringent in any regard. It's just smooth. It's easy. It's got some viscous. It's got some, you know, it fills the mouth nice. So it's got a nice feel to it. This is definitely something where at 25 bucks, you could, um, you know, drink it straight and, and have a nice little pour that you're not thinking about how much you spend on that pour. But you could also throw it in some cocktails and make some probably pretty elevated cocktails, especially when you think about like the old fashions where you want the, you don't need that rye spice. You want that kind of just rich sort of foundation to the drink. So what, what's that mean for score for me? Lee, I only have this much less. So let me, let me get it done here. Uh, 
Um, this is tough. It's tough to say. Again, thinking about that Matt Porter scale, you know, I say the palette is pretty darn good. It's it's not probably a seven. I think it's a six point five. The finish feels fairly flat. Again, it's not doing anything wrong. It's not ruining the drink. It's not you know kind of sometimes it gets that that astringency in the back and that that it, that that roughness uh, at the finish. It's just it's just easy. It just sort of kind of goes away. So that to me is a, a slightly above average finish. I'm gonna go 5.5. I'm trying to. This is if you've watched my stuff, this is probably the harshest I've scored anything. But I like it. I think it's really. I mean, I think it's good. Um, I just don't think it's blowing any doors off. Um, so that would be a, a a six bottle. Okay. So again, we're not even close to the top shelf, but we're not we're not like we're we're well above probably some rock gut stuff by far, right? And at the price point. So, you know, yeah, what do I think about it? I think that I think it's awesome that Jim Beam is doing age statements. I think it's awesome that 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 they've repackaged that this and they're and they're putting that out there at a price point. I mean, seven dollars if you do seven dollars, seven years, if you do the the ten per eight per year of age, it's a seventy dollar bottle. But they this is what I keep telling you guys. The manufacturers know what they have. So they know it's a seven-year you know, barrel that they could charge more for, but they're, they're using the barrels that are going into this blend, right, this batch, are not good enough because Booker's is about seven years or under sometimes, right, and Little Book, and some of their other products – that are high, high dollar are seven years. So these don't make the cut for that. They go, ooh, eh, it's a little off profile. We need to blend it with some other things. It's a little thin. It's a little bit um, meh. It's not really doing a whole lot. They know what Rick houses and campuses and everything. They know where they're pulling from. So they know what they have. Trust them, okay? So when you see $25, you're not getting a steal, right? You're not getting a, a, a $100 amazing bottle that's going to beat the world for $25 bucks and you, and you you, you know, Jim Beam's just doing you a solid. They've, it's a $25 bottle. You can drink it straight and it's really nice. You could, you know, give it to your friends and enjoy it. And no one's going to be put off or, or blown away by it either. But you're going to have a nice pour that's, that's, that's super, super reasonable. And then you could throw it in and make some really elevated cocktails. So good on you, Jim Beam, for doing good things. For me personally, it's a bottle that I could see... For me personally, this bottle probably doesn't end up on my shelf more often than this one because I'm an Evan Williams Black guy, and I can go get a liter and a half for 22 bucks on sale almost every week, right? And that's an $11 bottle, so I can get double a double bottle, basically. And we're going to see in the next blind if I like it as much or more than this, but it's, it's close enough for this, right? If I want to drink something straight, I want to drink something probably a little bit nicer, a little bit, just maybe higher proof, whatever. Um, and then I can put my Evan Williams Black in cocktails or I'll have some other things laying around for cocktails. But the, the argument for me for this one is probably cocktail maker. So take that for what it is. Appreciate you guys. If you're liking it, if you like the rambles, you don't like the rambles, you like the Jim Beam, whatever, leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me how you're how you're liking the, the channel. If you're really liking it, and even if you're just kind of liking it, or if you're not liking it, but you're just like, I'm a nice guy, you're a nice guy, or you're a nice gal, hit like, really like it, and hit subscribe. And then share it with some of your other friends that, that like this stuff and that are starting to lean into the idea of like, I want to I want to know what I'm doing and I want to have great bourbon and whiskey drinking experiences, but I don't want to break the bank and I don't want to go chase all the unicorns. That's what we're going to be talking about more and more on this channel. So love you guys. Love what you're doing, but especially love you if you're, if you're supporting this channel in all of its ways. So bye guys.